What creature would be terrifying if it was much larger? Owls would be supernatural. Imagine a 15 nocturnal predator that you can't see her coming. Those owl hoots in the night would send shivers down your spine. Edit, thanks for my first award. They would wander in some abandoned libraries and know 10,000 things, but won't know how radio works because some fox fed them false information. Praying mantis, they are the real psychopaths. Ugh. I just had a flashback to the film The Mist. It had a huge mantis-like creature, if I recall correctly it just picked up people and chewed them up. Didn't even think of those. Yay they would eat you while you were alive like they are eating a hot dog. My mom friended one while she was painting our house. This dude just followed her around watching her every single day. She would pick him up and he'd just chill on her hand. She sent me a video of him just tearing up a bug though. I wonder if I still have that video. Centipedes. They're gonna be big as an 18-wheeler, just scary to even imagine. Also mosquitoes, big enough to suck out all of your blood at once. Welcome, to Big Ass Mosquito Park. As long as John Williams provides the score I'd happily live in this world. Welcome, to Big Ass Mosquito Park. Would make it easier to hide from them, the clap of their cheeks as they flop about towards us will alert us to run away and hide. Problem solved. An alligator would be even scarier. There once was a time where they had longer legs and could chase others down a lot easier. Fun fact, alligators can gallop on land at, if I'm not wrong around 30 to 40 miles per hour. They're horrifying both in and out of the water. Edit, they can lunge at this speed but not gallop. Their gallop is a lot slower at around 11 miles per hour. Still bonkers that they could chase me down on land, though. Oh yeah, in short burst in straight lines. They can't turn fast at all though. Oh, I'm less horrified of tooth logs now, thanks. ANTS, it's just their collective mind that literally can be compared to an advanced alien culture. They are tiny and still kinda scary. Imagine. Right now, the biomass of ants is like 25x the biomass of humans. So if all ants decided to join forces and an attack all humans, they would collectively outweigh us by 25x. And they can easily carry on average up to 50 times their body weight and some species up to 100 times. Awesome creatures but let's keep them tiny please lol. They can at their size, but the truth is if they were scaled up, their legs would break instantly. It's due to a scientific principle called, the square cube law, some URL, ironically, bigger ants would be less threat than the tiny ones. I feel like daddy long leg spiders would look pretty top tier terrifying. I think that books called War of the Worlds, if it's a game, and added weapons on it, it'll be Half-Life 2. Oh god this is giving me nightmares. Those actually aren't spiders, but they're arachnids. They do eat spiders, though, which is nice. I think the Scalvin proved that the answer is rats. I don't know. Capybaras are the world's largest rodent and they are chill as hell around other animals. Maybe rats the size of motorcycles would be friendly and cool. So bike mice, potentially from Mars? I never really consider the possibility to be honest. They would just make massive underground networks with undercities. Spiders for sure. Imagine a huge one crawling on top of the treetops or something. The babies would be the size of golf carts, just horrible. I don't normally like nukes, but I'd start. It would be easier to keep them out of the house at least. We would see them coming and lock up. They have slicing dicing death blades on the ends of their arms, don't they? Something tells me they won't have trouble with drywall slash windows slash roofs. Especially as they grow beyond the golf cart. It's just no good. Chickens. They eat everything, very fast. Would be like a dinosaur. A giant chicken is just a chunky T-Rex. Chickens are dinosaurs, all birds are. There's a really really awful manga about anyone over the age of 20 turning into a giant chicken and eating the surviving children. It's so terrible but the concept was kinda interesting. Caterpillars. 
Giant centipede would be scary. Human centipede would be worse. You ever see that one scary creepy movie? You mean the Human Centipede Trilogy? Cockroaches, imagine a six feet cockroach flying at you. What the actual fuck? PFFT, that's just a normal Florida summer. Less flying and more so sprinting at you at insane speeds. Most cockroaches suck at flying but damn do they sprint. It's that unreliable flying ability that makes it so terrifying. You can't figure out which direction to run away in because it can't figure out how to fly straight. Literally every insect. Ladybug? Have you seen a ladybug's face up close? They're pretty creepy. And those motherfuckers are carnivores. If they were big enough, I'm pretty sure they'd try and eat us too. Ever seen the larval form of a ladybug? Fun fact for everyone, an insect's size is tied to the oxygen in its environment. Give it more when it's a baby, it'll grow bigger. I don't remember the cap, but it's over 20%, I think. Pretty big all things considered. Make that constant over a whole era and... Well. The Carboniferous era of Earth was known for its giant arthropods. Yep, this is because insects don't have an active breathing system, and simply absorb oxygen through holes in the exoskeleton. They have no mechanism to inhale or exhale. Exactly, which means they rely entirely on diffusion to breathe. Modern dragonflies have just about the biggest muscles possible for an insect for their wings because of that limitation. Bigger and they couldn't give them the oxygen they need. So if I give a cricket an emphysema tank it'll grow to 10 kilos? Chihuahuas. Cats. They'd play with us like mice. That's the thing with cats, I like them but they'll murder everything and anything smaller than them. I've wondered if we were say 15 to 20 foot tall would we have relationships with lions and tigers like we do with cats. I would. Relativity dude. Cats are just like tiny tigers that live in your house. Mosquito. But then they will be slower. And harder to swat. But easier to shoot. I like your thinking op. A two year old. Looks at honey, I blew up the kid. Oh I have never watched that movie and just assumed he fucking killed them. My assumption makes less sense considering I have watched Honey I Shrank the Kids. A pissed off two year old the size of a blue whale, throwing a tantrum. Ferrets. If you put a wild ferret into a pen full of bunnies, they will kill them all. Not out of a hunger, but pure bloodlust. They go berserker. Also, they have a jaw grip so tight often opponents kill themselves trying to free themselves from a ferret biting at the neck. They have a common ancestor with honey badgers. Q life size ferret. The last sentence pretty much explains everything. Tardigrades. They are basically unkillable and look like something out of HP Lovecraft. I'm shocked I had to go this deep to find this answer. Water bears are unkillable monsters. I was shocked no one had already said it. They can survive in outer space, people. I said it and then found the comments. They're supernatural. Technically not Yib Kalabla they just have some of the MKSD extreme resistances if I remember correctly. House Cat. They are one of the deadliest animals on the planet relative to their size. They're actually one of the deadliest animals period. They are responsible for more extinctions than any other animal, with exception of humans. Something like 63 and counting. I'm disappointed that we need to exclude humans from that. If you consider that humans bred cats, then we're responsible for theirs as well. Ah there it is. Wasps. There are already hornets. But I mean huge. Like the size of a dog. Get the flamethrower. I still haven't forgotten the day I was walking to school when I was 9 or 10 and saw a massive fucking hornet just chilling there on the pavement. Imagine centipede but big as an anaconda. You know? Those actually existed back in the Carboniferous era. Whoa. Titanoboa. Tarantula hawk. 
their existence would imply the existence of giant tarantulas as well. In a world of a giant tarantula hawk wasps the giant tarantulas are the least of your concerns. A few years ago I fell into a wiki slash google slash rabbit hole about parasitic wasps and among other tarantula hawks, these fuckers are scary, there are hundreds of videos of them hunting tarantulas and while the spider has a chance to win in this fight it took me like 50 videos to find one. Oh definitely. Wasps in general are just the worst. Even the relatively mild yellow jackets are just little bitches that are just waiting for an excuse to sting you. Bacteria. The blob intensifies. Why isn't this a more popular answer? Bugs. Angry chihuahuas. And dachshunds. Chihuahuas are cute I don't understand the hate. Most small dog breeds are pretty aggressive the only thing holding them back is their size. My mother has a Pomeranian who would attack everything and anything that wasn't my man if he lost his small man fear. Basically they're little dickheads. I'm thinking pretty much all of them.